Promise here and I received a lot of requests for a masquerade look, but you can easily wear this look without a mask. Start off by moisturizing your skin. Using my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Peach, an essence of beauty brush that you can purchase at CVS, I am applying this concealer along my under eye circles, around the areas of my nose and other areas where shadows tend to appear. This will brighten up the face. Taking my Sally Hansen Spray Foundation, spray it on your hand, not directly on your face. With a foundation brush, evenly dab it along your face and blend away. Follow the direction of the peach fuzz on your skin. Don't forget your neck. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundation. It applies on beautifully and has a satin finish. Take a sponge and dab it along your face. This will give you that airbrush appearance. Take just a bit of powder and apply it along your face to set your makeup. Be gentle, don't scrub it in. It's not like mineral makeup. Now redefine your eyebrows. A lot of the time, the mask will cover your brows, but you probably won't be wearing it all the time. Brows are important because it frames the face and can accentuate your eyes. Now put the mask on real quick. Here I'm drawing on guidelines, where the mask reveals my eyes to help dictate where my makeup should be applied. Use a white pencil because it can easily turn into highlights. Apply your eyeshadow primer. Here I'm using Urban Decay's Potion Primer because this will help your eyeshadow last longer when you're out on the dance floor. Using Revlon's Cream Eyeshadow, apply a mixture of a pinkish lilac color all over your lids. Concentrate around the area where the guidelines are marked. at a drugstore, I'm using a Prussian blue and plum color, mixing them together to create this dark iridescent color. Apply it accordingly, leaving the middle area untouched and blend it along the way. Here you can use any color besides purple. If you have a green dress, apply a green or gold color. A gold dress, try a brass color. Or a black dress, try silver. There are endless possibilities. Play around with colors and don't be scared that it may look too loud because the black base will not only desaturate the color, but provide your color that oxidized iridescent quality. Pearl white color and apply it along the ball of your eyes. Blend everything away. See how I've been using just one brush for this look? Open your eyes, making it look bright from the dark, smoky look. Apply the pearl white eyeshadow along the inner corners of your eyes and bring it in halfway.
Now taking that Prussian blue color, apply it along the lower lash line. Stop halfway. Line your eyes with it too. Tip or eyeshadow sponge and smudge where the lines meet halfway. Blend it together. Taking liquid eyeliner, line your eyes. The liquid eyeliner should not look so harsh on the top of your eyeshadow eyeliner, and it will give it that blurring effect. Take your false lashes. Here I reuse the one from the glamorous birthday look and apply it near your lash line. Curl your lashes so that your real lashes and fake lashes blend in. Apply mascara to hold them together. Don't forget your lower lashes. Taking a soft pink blush, apply it on the apples of your cheeks. Smile while doing so. Don't forget the jawline and nose. This lip color is optional. Finish off with whatever color best suits your dress, but I am using a black cherry lip color because I want that dark, vampy look. It goes with my dress and mask. The lip color is one of the most important element with wearing a mask because the lower region of the area is left open, giving more attention to the lips. Now it's time to wear the mask. Here I decided to wear a black long satin gloves to finish off the look. Now we're finished. Here is what it looks like without the mask. Your eyes should look mysterious behind the mask, making you appear like an elusive dream. Good luck, and I wish you the best prom.